<laughs> but I would so I want to talk about Kim Kardashian uh, because this story just keeps getting darker. And I actually can't believe the information um, that ha- has been exposed about her. Uh, If you don't know who Kim Kardashian is, bless you. Honestly, I don't know how you could potentially not know who she is. She is essentially um, forced upon us by the mainstream media. I feel as though every other article pertains to the Kardashian sisters. And I'm going to tell you how she arrived on the scene. If, If you already know the story, bear with me. But I'm sure many of my listeners, bless them, do not. Kim Kardashian had a boyfriend. He was at that time, he still is a rapper and an entertainer. He goes by the name of Ray J. She was dating her boyfriend, okay? And they decided to record themselves having sex. Now, this was a personal tape meant just for both of them. And eventually this tape got leaked, right? So Kim Kardashian had a show that was coming out and eventually this tape got leaked and her and Ray J had split up. Every implication on the show, which tracked her finding out that this tape was going to come out, uh, indicated to the masses that her ex-boyfriend, Ray J, leaked it. And she was horrified by it. She cried for years, episode after episode, about how this could possibly be happening to her. And if you were watching the show as I was when I was younger, you were sympathetic to her. You actually thought to yourself, this is a horrible situation. I mean, she has a right to have sex with her boyfriend, and nobody would want to know that something that was personal to you was then released for to the, to the public, and now people are watching her. So you felt sympathetic to her, right? Well, recently, and now this is some 20 years later, I believe, 20 years later, Ray J is watching an episode of her new show, and she again reintroduces the narrative of her as a victim of this sex tape that got released. And Ray J, who is now much older and has a daughter who is able to watch this show and understand that her her father potentially did something awful to make a little bit of money, gets very angry. And he begins going on a rant saying, that is not what happened. Actually, Kim Kardashian and I decided to release a sex tape so that she would get publicity and so that it would help her become famous. Wow. That is a shocking allegation, right? This is, again, a woman who is put into our faces every single day with the mainstream media. We view her as a victim. Okay, yeah, she got fame in a weird way, but okay, who could hold that against her? And he is now claiming that she was involved. So this week, her mother who is Kris Jenner, who you might be familiar with. She uh, manages all of the careers of her daughters. Went on to a late night talk show with James Corden, and she decided to take a public lie detector test to determine whether or not it was true that she and her daughter sat down with honchos and released the sex tapes so that her daughter could become famous. Here is the clip. Here we go. Okay. Did you help Kim release her sex tape? It's okay. No. No. True. Of course it's true. Thank you. Of course it's true. All right, her expression. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Thank you for for giving the right answer that I wanted you to say. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Of course. It's so crazy. So what do you think about this whole situation? It's just bizarre, but it's not it's not surprising. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I did believe that Ray J leaked the tape just because that's what they told us, of uh-huh. course. So, <sighs> but it's not surprising though, Mm-mm. because when people are in that mindset, they do anything to get famous. Anything. So it's, it's even a, selling your own daughter's body, which is like it gets it gets even creepier because uh, yeah, <laughs> she watched she watched it. That's disgusting. And then told her. Hey, I don't like this video. Do the do the other video. She watched multiple videos. It wasn't like this is just one video. This was like three videos. <laughs> they that were shooting they, cuts, I guess. They looked at and they just she decided, oh, this one looks the best. This one shows you the best right here. Like oh, this is know. this is gross. This is creepy. But this is gross. the the result of living mm-hmm. a life full of sin. 
living a life like indulging in sin, mm-hmm. like anything goes. You know, if if money is your God, like the scripture says, the root, the 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 love of money is the root of all evil. Mm-hmm. If money is your God, then you're willing to do anything for it. Anything justifies it, right? So even if selling your own body, selling your own children, betraying people, um, throwing people under the bus, suing people, leaving um, your husband for for money, like nothing is off the off, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, off limits mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when it comes if if money is your god. Like that's why when you choose somebody to be to be with, like to to live your life with, choose somebody who who has God as as first priority, like the true God, right? Not money, because if somebody is is chasing money and that is their goal, that mm-hmm. is who who that is what they um, view as top priority. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen is like you're going to come second to that. Like they're going to be willing to do anything to get that to get that money. So if somebody else comes along offering them more money, like you out of there. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So. Yeah. Sad. That's sad. Yikes. <laughs>